Where the Wild Bums Are Words and Pictures by Claudia Rowe Published by Atlas Jones & Co Where the Wild Bums Are The night Bee wore her bum suit, she caused quite a stir. Breaking rules Breaking Grandma's China. Breaking wind. Her father said, What are you doing? And B wrote, My bum has gone wild. So she was sent to her room for her terrible cheek. Then B danced the wild bum ballet. Her stage, a brilliant forest. Blazing blues and gorgeous greens. Where papery vines unfurled their dainty tentacles and the fine spray of deodorizer drifted like jungle mist. A sea swirled past with a polka dot windsurfer for B and in a great gust, she was away. It felt like the longest night to be, but twas only two minutes before she came to where the wild bums lay. And when they saw her, they wobbled their terrible wobbles. They thrashed their fearsome underthings. And they farted such terrible, terrible farts. B said, cool it guys, and the bums sat down. For they were tamed by her awesome nonchalance and called her the most casual bum of all. B was crowned queen of bums. All righty, she said. Fellow bums, let's frolic. Enough, said B. I've run out of puff the bums lay down for the wind had gone from their sails. Queen Bee was tired and felt the teensiest bit silly. I think I'll go home now, she said. The wild bums cried, stay Queen Bee. How can we frolic without you? They wobbled their terrible wobbles. They thrashed their fearsome underthings, and they farted such terrible, terrible farts. B said, I'll miss you. Then the wind caught her sail and took her into the night, over waves and out of dreams. Back to her room, where her favorite pajamas lay waiting. And they were oh so soft and warm. <laughs>